Hello and welcome to Ericksonian Inductions. I'm Keith Livingston from Hypnosis101.com. In this program, you'll discover inductions techniques that will make your inductions flexible, more effective, and more powerful for a wide range of people. Let's get started. Today, we're going to talk about Milton Erickson's induction style. Now, when people learn inductions, what they typically want is a procedure. What do I say first? What's next? Then what do I do? But Milton Erickson's inductions don't work that way. If you study Dave Elman, Dave Elman's inductions do work that way. Elman style inductions require the person you're hypnotizing to follow instructions exactly. Now, many people don't like to follow instructions. We don't like to be ordered around. So Erickson's inductions were much more of a process than a procedure. They are guidelines rather than a set of rules. Now, an induction is a process by which you lead someone into trance. Some inductions are a set of instructions to follow. Erickson's inductions were more like a conversation. Now, you can't script a conversation because it involves more than one person and you don't know how the other person is going to respond. With Ericksonian inductions, we respond to what people give us. It's a much more flexible approach that works with a wide range of people, not just people who follow instructions well. In some inductions, if you say, close your eyes, and they don't close their eyes, you have to kick them out of your office. You say, look, if you can't cooperate with what I'm doing, I can't help you. But with Ericksonian inductions, if we say, close your eyes, and they don't close their eyes, you say, that's right. You control your eyes, and you can allow them to stay open, or have them comfortably relax, closing now. Or staying open and going into a deep state of relaxation that way. That's fine. So although Erickson could be very authoritative when he needed to be, he was known for his permissive style. And by permissive, we mean allowing the client to respond however it is they respond, and giving them choices as how to respond. Now, of course, we give them choices that lead to hypnosis, and we frame everything as successfully heading into trance. Now, here are some words you can think about as permissive. Might, could, can, allow, perhaps. All those are permissive words. Now, just as an experiment, take a moment to feel what these two suggestions feel like when you hear them directed at you. Here's the first one. Close your eyes. Okay, if they're closed, open them back up. Now, take a moment and feel what this suggestion feels like in your body. Perhaps you can allow your eyes to close. Good. Now, those two pieces of language create two different feelings in people. Some will respond better to one, some better to the other. To some, it won't make much of a difference. One of our jobs, if we want to reach the greatest number of people is to figure out what kind of language a person responds to best and give them that language so they can be successful entering trance. Now, when someone comes to your office to be hypnotized and you find they respond well to directly worded suggestions, just use those. It's faster. It's easier. But if they don't, you can use permissive words and indirect suggestions. Some people like explicit instructions. Some respond better to metaphor. Some like orders. Some like to choose. And for some, it may be better to have their conscious mind out of the way altogether. And what we're exploring in this program is how to use the flexibility of Ericksonian approaches to hypnotizing people to be able to effectively hypnotize more people by offering them the choice of induction style that matches what works for them.